iBioMed is a really exciting program because it's such an innovative way to learn. We use problem-based learning and project-based learning to teach students about biomedical engineering in real-world applications. Our project we created is called Leela. It's the Life Emulating Emotion-Linked Assistant. And it's a set of two bracelets that are for stress relief. So when you get stressed, uh, the conductivity of your skin changes and that can be measured uh, with our bracelets. The design process went really smoothly. We knew what uh, sensors we wanted. We knew how we were going to put them on the bracelets. We got to choose you know, what we felt strongly about to design and that, that's pretty cool. I learned a lot. I really like how the design projects allow you to make use of a whole bunch of different technologies that you normally wouldn't be interacting with on a day-to-day -day basis. Creating the EpiBand has been a really um, incredible experience. I had never really thought that having only gone through my first year of university that I'd be capable of something like this. Um, so what it does is it uses sensors that detect things such as heart rate, blood oxygenation in the blood, as well as core body temperature. And it uses these things um, to kind of detect early symptoms of anaphylactic shock. The EpiBand would actually react using micro needles, as shown right here, to deliver epinephrine transdermally. It was really about um, identifying problems in the world around you and seeing if there was something that you were capable of um, solving. And that, for us, that was the EpiBand. First year more targets uh, like hands-on projects in terms of hardware and software. Second year takes a slightly different approach. We actually go more into the research side of things. So we look to tackle uh, the disease of malaria and we wanted to do that by targeting a specific gene within mosquitoes called FREP1. Now FREP1 is essential for the survival of the malaria parasite. We aim to actually edit out the FREP1 gene so that plasmodium can no longer survive within mosquitoes and can therefore not be transmitted over to humans. Our course was really designed to allow the students to pick their own health science problem and then generate some kind of solution for it. Ge a genetic solution like, like gene therapy or some way of helping by using DNA engineering. DNA is a material as well. You can manipulate it, you can cut it, you can paste it. You just can't see it. So they learn to visualize what DNA really is and how we can manipulate it. It kind of gives you the whole process of how do you design an experiment or how do you actually find the, pro the problem first, how do you design the solution, and how do you go about actually uh, targeting uh, how you actually want to tackle this problem. We want students to think about uh, problems not as abstractions but as things people experience on a day-to-day -day basis. And We want to really encourage students to learn how to come up with, with big, bold ideas and learn how to put them into action. And so when it came to deciding what we wanted to focus on, we looked at what affected Canadian society as a whole. And for sure we came to uh, heart attacks and cardio coronary artery disease. So we developed the CardioSafe. CardioSafe is a wearable earpiece that detects early onset coronary artery disease. And we did this through two sensors. One is a thermistor and the other is an SPO2 sensor. And they work together to determine if a user is having a heart attack or stroke, and then communicate this information through a mobile app. Um, in first year of university, you typically don't think that you'll be able to create something that has the impact that our device does. It was four brains working together on one project that ultimately made this a great success.